Hi, I'm Anna. I'm going to show you how to use WriteCream to convert a blog article or any piece of text into a podcast or a voiceover for a YouTube video. Let's get started. To kick things off, sign up for a free account on WriteCream. You just need to enter your name, email, and password. You will then be taken to the dashboard. Scroll down and click on the voiceover tool. Now all you have to do is copy-paste the contents of the blog article, select the language you want the podcast or the YouTube voiceover to be in, pick a voice, tweak the optimization settings, and then hit the Generate button. Let me walk you through this with the help of an example. We will convert this blog article into a podcast. Firstly, copy the blog article to a word editor like Google Docs or Microsoft Word. Then delete article suggestions, images, and other elements that aren't required. Next, we have to get rid of the headings. Now, there are two ways using which you can remove the headings. You can either delete the heading entirely or you can replace it with some piece of text. You can delete the heading if it doesn't affect the flow of the article. For example, we can safely remove this heading. Take a moment here. Read the paragraph preceding the heading and then the paragraph immediately after that. I will give you some time to read. Notice how there is no disconnect between the two paragraphs. If you feel that way, then you can safely remove the heading. All the headings in this article can safely be removed, so I will do that, but I quickly want to show you how we may have to replace the headings with a few lines of text. For this, I will have to sidetrack to an article we published on the Right Cream blog on sales playbooks. I have already copied this document to Microsoft Word to save us time. Here, if we directly remove the heading, benefits of a sales playbook, that would break the flow of the article. We can remove this heading by adding a couple of sentences like this. These sentences must act as a bridge from one section to another. Finally, if you have any bullet or numbered lists in your article, you may want to change them a bit. For example, you can convert a short bullet list from this to this. And for numbered lists, you can use words like first, firstly, or you can get rid of the numbers entirely if they don't break the flow of the article. You may also want to tweak some portions of the article from a podcast point of view. For example, right at the end of this article, we ask the readers to let us know their thoughts in the comments section. This makes sense from a blog perspective, as blogs usually have a comment section, but most podcast platforms don't have one. So, this doesn't make sense here. You can instead replace it with something like this. Kind of like an outro to a YouTube video. In the end, your blog article should just include paragraphs. There shouldn't be any images, headings, or lists. This was a broad overview of the changes you have to make to a blog article to convert it to a genuine podcast. Before you get to the next step, I would recommend giving the blog article a read from start to finish. Picture the blog as a podcast that is playing in your head. And then observe closely if any portion of the blog will not gel in the podcast. Remove those portions or rephrase them. Once you are done with this, meet me at step 2. Our second step includes determining the number of characters in the blog article. For this, head over to charactercounter.com and paste the blog article you edited in the last step. As you can see, this blog article is over 800 words long and has about 5,000 characters. The character count is important here because the right cream voice over tool can process 3,000 characters at a time. So we will have to divide our 5,000 character blog article into two parts and then generate an output for each. That brings us to step 3, which is splitting the blog article. If you have to divide the article into three or fewer parts, then you can directly do that in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. However, if you have to split the article into four or more chunks, then I would recommend using this tool. I have linked it in the video description. To use this tool, copy the edited blog article into a notepad and then use the load option on the website to select the saved TXT file. Then enter the number of chunks you want to split the blog article into. In the case of our blog article, we have to split it into two, so I will enter that. Then, check the boxes beside character split and UTF-8, and hit the split button you will get a zip file. You can see that this zip file has two txt files, and as I open both, you can see that our blog article has been split into two parts. 
but the split was performed across the word feuding. You want to ensure here that the files are split across sentences rather than words, so I will copy the sentence from the first file into the second file. While pasting the sentences from one file to another, you may end up exceeding the character count of 3000. So, I would recommend doing a quick check of the character limit here. As you can see, both the TXD files are well within the character limit. Now we just have to generate voiceovers for both the TXD files and combine the generated outputs. This brings us to the fourth step, which is generating the voiceover. Copy the text from the first notepad file and paste it into WriteCrane. Select the language that you want the voiceover to be in. It's worth noting here that if you select Dutch as the output language and the text you input is in English, then WriteCream will automatically translate your text to Dutch and generate a voiceover in the same language. It works the other way around as well. If you input the text in Dutch and select the output language as English, WriteCream will translate the text to English and then generate the voiceover. For this example, I will select United Kingdom English as the language in a female voice. There are a lot of other voices to choose from, each is different. For English, I recommend these two voices, but you can experiment and see the one that sounds the best to you. I recommend keeping the speed at 1.1 but you can slow it down or ramp it up based on your preferences. As for the optimization settings, I advise keeping both enabled. Once you are done, hit the generate button. The processing will take a few seconds and then the output will start playing automatically. Microsoft irked more than a few Android fans when it revealed that Windows 11 would run apps from the Amazon App Store and not Google Play. If you like the generated output, you can download it using the button in the top right. You can always access the older outputs by going to the Recent Activity section from the left pane. After you have generated the outputs for both the TXD files, the final step is to combine the generated outputs. We will use a free tool called as Audio Joiner for this. I have included a link for the same in the video description. Click on Add Tracks and select the downloaded outputs. Ensure the outputs are arranged sequentially from top to bottom. If you would like to change the order of the tracks, press and hold on them and rearrange as you want. Disable cross-fading and fade out and play the output. Pay special attention to the transition between the two tracks. You want to make sure the transition is smooth. Once you are satisfied with the output, click on Join, wait for the processing to complete and then download the output. That's how you can quickly create a podcast or a voiceover for your YouTube video just using a blog article. Please note that the Android Authority article we used in this video was only for demonstration purposes. We advise you to create a blog article on your own and use that for creating a voiceover or podcast. WriteCring can help you write a blog article from scratch as well. I will link a video in the description that shows you exactly how to do that. All you need to do is just enter your product name and description, and you will be able to generate a blog article. So, using WriteCream, you can go from a product name to a podcast, all within a few minutes. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to the channel for more such content, and we will see you in the next one.